A Turkish man goes straight up Chuck Norris and saves some lives. BBC is putting Top Gear magazine up for sale, and we have a double dose of the internet rumor mill. You think you hate us now? We you get to the end of the episode when we show you a BMW M3 pickup. Yeah, we're not kidding, but don't worry. We'll wash it all down with a cool helping of Hump Day Girl of the Week. What's up, everybody? I'm Derek D. You are watching Fast Lane Daily. On Monday, March 21st, Derek D. will be taking a much-deserved day off. So we thought we'd invite back an old friend to host Fast Lane Daily. It's Fast Lane Daily with Alex Costello. Fast Lane Daily with Alex. We hope you don't mind. Fast Lane Daily always fresh. Always fresh. When I say turkey, you probably think of a bird that tastes really good or a country with a lot of places that start with the letter A or K. Serious, look it up. You may not think of a dude who has pride who has power, who's a badass mother, who takes no crap over nobody. Come on, name that movie. It's Cool Runnings. Anyway, check out this video. A tanker truck full of gasoline catches fire next to a neighborhood. Now most people run away for their lives, but not engine, 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 I'm killing his name, engine, engine, Cossack. This cat jumps into the burning truck, which can blow up at any moment, by the way, and drives it half a mile away from the houses and people. A few people were injured, but no one was killed. This dude's definitely a hero. It was reported that after Ingen drove the truck away, he jumped out and sang, I'm a Turkish badass, watch me kick. You can roll with Kosak or you can suck my d And the BBC has put Top Gear magazine up for sale alongside Radio Times and Gardner's World. Now we don't have an exact reason why BBC Worldwide, the commercial arm of the BBC, has put such assets up for sale. Last year all the titles produced a profit of 18.4 million pounds. Yeah, I'm talking money here, not weight. The front runners in the bidding war are German publishers Bauer and Berta, with British publishers Haymarket and Future close behind. Could we see the likes of the best automotive writers and photographers be under the control of the Germans in the not so distant future? How would that make you guys feel? Well, if you got issues with it, the reported cost for Top Gear magazine is upwards of a hundred million pounds. Yeah, just enough money to legally allow you to wipe your ass with hundred dollar bills. Yep. It's true. Yep. It's actually a club you have to enter. I've seen the form. Yep. Now the internet rumor mill. We got two stories today. First, we head over to the Nürburgring for the start of 2011 testing for car manufacturers. And look at that, a BMW M3 pickup. We won't even try to explain this one, since we honestly think it's a bunch of engineers just f with spy photographers. A pickup M3? Won't happen. It does look kind of dope, but we think this is some form of pre-production mule for a new chassis platform that we won't see or hear about for a few years. So... awesome? I don't know. Now over to this, the new Mercedes A-Class. Teasing a sketch revealed online earlier this week, this A-Class should be revealed sometime later this year as a 2012 model. The car will probably not make it to U.S. shores, but holy hell in a handbasket, this teaser brings on temptations unlike anything we've ever seen before. Actually, that's a lie. I have sweet dreams of the Alpha 4C. Okay, I lied again. JF wrote that. But goodness gracious, an AMG version of that sketch? Hot. I mean, that'd be hot. Speaking of hot, Ian, I got a question for you. Have you ever watched that show, The League, on FX? Uh, no. Well, if you did, you would know it's funny. And also this hottie boom body, Nadine Velasquez, our hump day girl of the week. This smoking hot Latino is also in that show. My name is Earl. Oh, I remember that one. Yeah. Personally, she can call me any name she wants. Thanks to FLD fan Brandon Hyde for sending in the suggestion. Nadine Velasquez. As I like to say. They're sending in suggestions for that, but not car tips. Massive amounts of Hump Day Girl of the Week suggestions. <laughs> and no car. No, they said a car. We did yesterday. Uh, Joe Haynes yeah, sending that Fiat. photo. Fiat. Fiat. They didn't hello squares. Works for me. Fiat twins. Fiat. Yeah. Well, that's it for Fast Lane Daily today. Alex Gazella will be here on Monday, so try not to miss me too much. But in the meantime, you can always follow me on Twitter. Shameless self-promotion right there, yeah. Twitter.com slash Derek DeAngelis. Hey! That was almost uh, Bob Schumann. <laughs>
Is he back there? Hey, yeah, bud. You gotta, you gotta bleep that. Are we? You gotta bar his d <laughs> No.